Number one, explore the outside of the main map. Now this has been around for a while, but I just wanted to highlight some of the things that you can do that you may not otherwise know. To start off with, you're gonna to wanna to take your horse, park it right here. And this is south of Armadillo, park it right there on the island. And then you're going to go back where you came from a little bit. Make sure you go up on the slope, go first person, equip both of your revolvers or sidearms. And you're gonna to wanna to hold these buttons as soon as you start sliding. It's going to be A, left joystick left, right joystick right, and left trigger. Now this is for Xbox, that will change if you're on PC or PS4. Once you make it across, go ahead and whistle for your horse, it'll come to you and then you need to make sure you follow this specific, uh, this path. Because if you veer off this path, you may slide into the water and then you'll probably drown. If you plan on exploring the whole map, I recommend coming here. This will give you access to all the way around the map. So make, again, make sure you're on the side of this little path here. And then this will put you up on top of this plateau. So main thing is don't go into this uh, restricted area because if you do, you'll get a black screen and it'll throw you back into Saint Denis. Now I'm going to cover the spots where you can actually whistle for your horse outside of the map. Here's the first location. Here's the second location. This is north of Ansberg. And then this is the last location. This is up in Amberino. It's worth noting at that first location, you can actually invite players or friends to directly spawn on you. From this location directly to the south, you can actually access this uh, Guarma area, which is technically not Guarma, it's the out of bounds Guarma. Australian! Now I'm in America! Australian! America! I get Australia, it, Dad! America! Yeah, you can stock up on your big game meat, or you can just enjoy the wildlife. Up to you. Number one was a long one. All right, now to number two. This is how you climb steep slopes. So we're gonna use the exact same method we used when we cut across the river to get to the out of bounds area. Uh, you, can, you can just apply this to going up steep slopes. Number three, herding animals. This one is actually a lot of fun and it, it's especially fun if you can do it with other players. Uh, I know my crew has been wanting to do like cattle herding, which we haven't done yet, but there should be a video on that soon. Number four, getting a hundred dollar player bounty. This one is definitely interesting, especially if you load into Valentine. Uh, you will get a lot of players hitting that player bounty, so you better run or be prepared to fight and fend yourself from them taking the bounty. This one's a fun little simple glitch, so if you hop onto your horse and you ta double tap RB to back up with a weapon in your hand, you'll actually start to spin, and you'll, you'll keep this glitch as long as you have a weapon in your hand. Now here's a controversial one. Uh, try to steal trader wagons, and I mean steal, not blow them up. So I do this by just hopping sessions in Valentine. You can see them from here for some reason, as long as you have the long distance, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's a long distance where you can see the bounty wagons on the map. Um, this just kinda, to me, keeps the game alive, especially after you've done everything that you can possibly do. 
it makes players that sell the wagons uh, have more of a challenge, keeps the game alive, keeps them on their toes. All in all, I think it just makes the game a lot more fun and rewarding. Number seven, if you take out your camera, uh, it's actually really interesting to see what the players will do. I get emoted at, sometimes they get shot, but especially during like PvP matches, if you take out your camera, it's amazing how little people actually shoot you. Number eight, jumping Jorge's gap. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just try to jump the gap. Something interesting, something different to do. Now you can say you can. Now you can say you can do it. Number nine. This is a climbing glitch that you can uh, do by utilizing railings. And this is railings anywhere. This is railings that you can find all over the map. So basically, you just kind of point your side arms 45 degree angle at what you want to hop up, hop up on. I'll just kind of show you how I'm failing here. Uh, try it again. Line up. So once you hop up, you aim your weapons kind of back towards the center and then hop up on whatever you want to jump up on. So for this instance, I'm just on this boat in San Denis. And you can actually climb up this little cable here and get on the very top. Number 10, 360 degrees, horse slide. This one's a fun one, and you can use it any time, playing with your posse, just kind of showing off to your friends. So I'll try to do a split screen here so you can see how I do it, because it's almost impossible to explain. But uh, yeah, here's a little split screen. So running, and then you hit the slide, and then you're going to basically alter your camera angles and the direction of your horse if that makes sense to complete the slide so i recommend just kind of studying what i'm doing here and i have no doubt you'll get it number 11 getting a mob of npcs to follow you so there is no limit to this you basically go to this area in san denis you punch one of these guys down here and then it seems like all of them are buddy buddies and they just all want to attack you so they don't have any firearms, so it's just fists. If you bring out a firearm on your own, they'll run away. So don't do that. Uh, they can't really seem to attack you while you're in the water. And uh, you probably are wondering this. They do not get eaten by gators, but you definitely will. Number 12, getting your horse on the roof and Valentine. You're just going to utilize these steps right here. Get the timing right. Sprint, jump joystick left and you can actually get up on top of this roof that's currently in construction and if you really want to try to go the extra mile try to go across all of those roofs to the sheriff's office number 13 this is uh, another fun one i uh, try to get wild animals inside buildings this will apply to any medium or large animal that you can actually lasso this is an elk i am going to be taking this into the hotel room not doing anything weird, just putting him in there. Seemed tired, and then he woke up. He wasn't happy I was there, and then shortly after, he checked out. Here's another funny one you can do while you're waiting for a trader wagon to sell, or just hanging out with your friends in camp. Go ahead and take any animal to the stew pot. You're gonna pick up that animal, and then after you do that, immediately select the stew pot, and then you'll have the animal and you'll be eating stew as well. So from here, it almost looks like I'm eating the bird's head. Here's my personal favorite. You're gonna kill your crypts. And there's a couple ways to do this. The first one is to go to your camp and then just select a different location and that'll force your crypts to start walking away. And then as he walks away, just use your horse to run into him and you can then keep doing that until you see that he's nothing but an X on the map. And this is actually, if you want one of Crips' hats, this is a good way to do it because when you pick him up, um, the hat will fall off his head. And when you get sick of Crips telling his stories, you can also do this. So. You just go to the side of the butcher table right here where there's this gap, press Y, and it'll actually force another Crips to come into the screen. 
and your character will kind of shuffle off to the side and that for some reason that allows your character to interact with the crypts. So there's a million different possibilities. I think one of my videos I did 20 ways to kill crypts. Uh, so here are just a few ways to do it. Number 16, the Trader Wagon 180 degree power slide. So take off one of the wheels and then just slide onto the direction of the missing wheel and that'll force your wagon to go 180 degrees. And then number 17, I use this one a lot, like hopping lobbies for Trader Wagons, but for really for anything else, it's just a quicker way to hop lobbies, go to the any poker table, private session, and then once you load in, you just basically back out and then that'll that'll give you a different session. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.